from this waterfront, downtown Seattle has felt far away. We literally call it West Seattle Island now. It does feel like an island, absolutely. It's its own city. It's been that way since March of 2020. That's when rapidly expanding cracks in the West Seattle Bridge led to the city shutting it down, creating long detours for residents like Meredith Devaney. If I was just to drive downtown, it would be with the bridge is like 15 minutes. It's half an hour without the bridge. And that's without traffic. West Seattle drivers say rush hour was much more of a headache. When you're on these surface streets and all the neighbors are probably like going bonkers because there's so much traffic in their neighborhood. It's been so bad, Paul Summers' friends even told him about it. It seems to be in such a horrendous state that the city doesn't know, so don't move here. But he didn't listen. And so I moved here. He made that move two weeks ago, just in time for the news that this bridge will be back and open to traffic in September. It's about time. For commuters, it's a relief, but one that comes with a $175 million price tag. We made some, some aggressive estimates. We're staying within budget. We feel confident that our numbers are accurate. That was the message from Mayor Bruce Harrell, and this is what visitors have to say. I wanted them to see that view. Eugene Adams brought friends and made the drive from Lake Stevens to be here today, a trip he plans to take more often when it's easier to get to West Seattle. That bridge coming back will make it so much more easier. We call it off island, like Costco, gotta go off island. As for this longtime resident, the zoo, we got to go off island. The aquarium, which is right there, off island. She's happy to finally be getting the bridge back. We've been waiting for it, so it'll be great when it, when it finally is open. The Seattle Department of Transportation installed a system that can detect subtle movements in the bridge. It will be monitoring the bridge 24-7. And before it opens, the city plans to run numerous tests to make sure it is structurally sound. Live in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.